Hello everybody, if you guys are new here, my name is Barbie and I make videos about fitness, nutrition, vlogs and other things that interest me. So the first, so today is actually my day one of starting an eight week meal plan and fitness plan. And I'm gonna go grocery shopping right now. I actually made a list. So that's the list plus this side, but also has some things that I had at home so I just didn't include in the list. I'm going to take you guys with me to grocery shop and see how much everything costs and where I buy everything. So see you guys soon. <laughs> guys so I'm at Superstore look at this section for the vegan stuff so they have like burgers burritos all these pizzas oh and here they have breads whole bunch and then you go here they have burgers um, beefless ground veggie crispy chicken coconut whip cream Oh my god, look at all these ice creams. But anyway, I didn't try to show you guys that like, I don't, I only showed you guys to see how much variety there is. But the point is, we have to get back on track and keep going with this um, list here. I just got back from Superstore. Oops, I forgot to open my car. And these are some of the things I bought. And these are some of the things I bought. So there's like a whole bunch of vegetables there and then some packaged stuff, protein, yogurts. There's the light. Okay, anyways, when I get home from work, I'm going to show you guys all the things that I bought and everything that includes in my meal plan. So I'll show you where I got everything and I'll also show you how much everything was. So hey guys, I am home now from work and I'm going to show you guys everything I bought. I honestly didn't have time. I had two hours before work to kind of like film a little bit plus like kind of look around like what I needed and also like come home, change and go to work. So I didn't have time to film more at the store but now I'm going to show you everything I bought. And just look at what I have on all my food. What I have my food on. So I have it on this like little nightstand. And I feel like it's the easiest way to organize everything from the rest of the fridge because I still live with my family. So some stuff I bought are strawberries. Hopefully this is enough. I usually don't eat much strawberries, I don't know why. And then I got some spinach. Um, almonds, raw almonds. On my meal plan it said like four apricots, so I just bought four. And then I got some coconut water. I love coconut water. I would honestly choose to drink out of an actual coconut, but this will do for now. And for yogurt, I got coconut and almond yogurt. I've never tried the almond one, so I'm kind of excited. They're both plain because you don't need the extra sugar. And then avocados. I kind of got the avocados that were like half was good, half was still unripe just so I can keep it a little longer because I don't think I'm going to eat four by myself. And then I honestly couldn't find purple sweet potato anywhere so I just got regular. Holy crap, this is the size of my head. Holy shit. <laughs> uh, for granola bar, I got Nature Valley. Uh, this one... Yeah, I mean Nature Valley, and then roasted almond, it's all vegan. I also had to get a protein powder, so I got the Vega protein powder because this one's, cook uh, the flavor is coconut almond, but this one has protein plus greens in instead of just the protein. Uh, what else, what else? Oh yes, so I was supposed to get the five grain tempeh, but honestly, I'm in Canada and I didn't see it, so I just got like original tempeh. 
Yep. And then for vegetables, I got cucumbers, green onions, asparagus, lettuce, lettuce. Uh, and then for black beans and the uh, chickpeas, I got the ones without the can because the ones in the can have actually way more ingredients than just the black pe black beans. So I just want to eat the black beans. That's it. And then I also had to get some quinoa because this is all I had left at home. <laughs> I'm gonna show you the bag I got. Tell me if this is enough. Do you guys think this is enough quinoa? <laughs> Never enough. Uh, for oats, I got still cut oats. And then I got moringa powder. I have long grain brown rice. And I also have wild rice and brown rice mixed. Uh, I have quick oats. So excited. Uh, I've never actually tr like I've tried pumpkin seeds, but like I haven't tried like this brand. This brand is called Go Raw. Um, so yeah, I'm excited for this one. And also, you can't forget almond milk. So that's all I got for now. After I got home, I kind of realized that I am missing some stuff because I was kind of in a rush, so I wasn't able to get what else am I missing? Like red bell peppers. Um carrots oh yeah I just have to get like reg oh wait I didn't get oats so I don't need to get oats I thought I didn't get any anyways um so I think that's all I have to go oh yeah and almond butter I have to get almond butter still that's it but that's pretty much everything I'm gonna eat for my meal plan but hold on one sec I forgot three items I got tangerines as well and spinach and kale these are all, these are, this is organic kale and um, organic spinach. And these are reusable bags, so, yeah. But yeah, I love that you guys are here on the journey with me and can't wait to share more of this journey and how it's gonna go for eight weeks. Hello, and I'm in a bathing suit because I would like to do a physique update. And it's not really an update, but like, where I am at right now because this is my day one of my meal and fitness plan so I just want to show you guys where I'm starting at so that later on we have somewhere something to compare to So as you guys seen all the groceries that I have bought for my meal planning, I just would like to go in more in depth about what my goals are and some things that I have been enjoying throughout this meal plan and fitness plan and some things that I haven't been enjoying. And so I just would like to say my goal is that I just want to look like get more tone like so that you can see more muscle definition and then just overall eating more healthier. So, my trainer has given me given me a um, meal plan right here, as well as she given me some notes. So the notes that she wrote for me was that if I want to maintain the body I have, I should be eating 1,700 calories every single day. But if I want to like lose weight uh, throughout the whole week, I should be eating 1,000 to 1,400 every single day. So when I started this meal plan, I was really, really excited to start and just begin a new journey and see where my body goes. So as I started following exactly what's on this meal plan, I wasn't so happy. So I contacted my trainer and told her, like, I don't really like the meals that are on here. So what she has told me is, she's amazing, by the way, I'm going to link her down below. And I just would like to say she is amazing and very accommodating and so helpful. So she told me the meals that she makes, she would like to accommodate everybody. And 
that she try she does the best to write down foods that most people would enjoy which I understand and not everybody likes the same thing so it's completely fine her and I have talked about how I can keep doing the things I'm doing and reaching my goals but it's also that I'm happy and I'm eating foods that I like so for example in this meal plan it has a lot of beans tempeh rice and uh, quinoa and I just don't enjoy those foods very much I like smoothies I like almond milk it has almond milk here but I just like smoothies a lot I like nice cream so ice cream made out of bananas and just stuff like that so what I have been doing is I use this app called chronometer and I just track all my calories fat protein all my nutrients and minerals and everything there and that way I get to see and I weigh all my food so I see how much calories I'm eating during the day I don't necessarily follow this plan just because the foods that the trainer wrote for me I don't enjoy them as much but I still can reach my goals by staying under the calorie limit and protein and whatever else by but I'm just doing it myself by um, plugging all my information on this app so for my meal plan that's it for my oh yeah on what I want to say is that before I started this meal plan I would eat so much bread like every single day I would eat like bagels I would eat avocado toast and just I would consume a lot of bread so ever since I started this meal plan no bread whatsoever and I've been avoiding pasta too which I love but I am doing my best to eat whole foods so I'm baking a lot of vegetables I'm making soups out of vegetables um, I made lettuce wraps so I've just been like kind of because before I would snack a lot for example, like I would come home from work or I just being out, I would like kind of like, oh, grab this, grab that. And, you know, like it equal, if you would count every single little thing you just go and grab, you would be eating a lot of calories. So with this meal plan, another reason why I wanted it really badly is that it would stop me from snacking because I have a set of meals to eat and set of calories to reach. And if I'm, and that obviously stops me from snacking because I don't want to like, waste like one chip which is like a million calories you know for my whole day just for that one chip I'd rather eat like a whole meal which is more enjoyable so that was one thing so I stopped snacking I cut out all bread which I'm really happy about because I wanted to do it anyways but it's like so so addicting for me bread honestly so yeah that's all for the meal plan and I'm really enjoying being on like keeping track of things and seeing where I'm at and I just enjoy it <laughs> anyways so now to the fitness plan I love it I honestly recommend if you guys need somebody to make your meal plan a fitness plan go with my trainer for my fitness plan I have six days a week obviously she did it for me and how much I can handle because she has a, sl a list of questions when you first sign up and I said I'm very active I work out like six days a week five, uh, five days a week so she set a six day uh, workout plan for me with two leg days um, uh, two leg days three arm days and one calisthenics day and four cardio days and one day off and I've been enjoying it a lot. One reason is that when I used to work out on my own, I would go do in like 10 minute cardio and be like, okay, I'm done, like I'm tired now. But because I have a set of like, because I have a set of like workouts I have to do and like certain cardio target to reach, I'm amazed at myself for example like when I first did the cardio I was on a stair masters usually when I would do it on my own I would do 10 minutes but because on the planet I do 30 minutes I actually did 30 minutes I was so so impressed with myself and I just feel like having a, a like a plan and like a set of things to do like this I'm pushing myself way more like for example I haven't been like it's so hot outside I just been wanting to like chill outside and just relax but having this plan really really pushes me to 
like do it because somebody's keeping track of me and if I don't do it I'm letting them down and I'm letting that myself down so yeah that's everything I have learned and yeah that that's pretty much it I just really been enjoying it and I can't wait to see where I'm gonna be in eight weeks honestly like I already been noticing so much change like especially in my stomach area and even with my muscles like I try to do a handstand like I've been practicing handstands for a while now but just because I've been constantly going to the gym I've noticed like when I'm go about to do the handstand I'm able to hold my with like my core way better than I did and same with my like shoulders and my arms everything it's just amazing and I'm so so grateful to be doing on this journey I'm just so excited so yeah I hope you guys learned something and um I would like to share more meals with you guys for sure. And if you have any idea on the, sorry, if you have any other ideas for me, let me know. And uh, yeah, just make sure to subscribe. See you guys.